think in, with reanimation, just the band as a whole, it's got a good opportunity to work with other people and see how they do things. Just seeing that, it kind of broadens your mind. And the point of having a career is that you constantly are evolving. When I learn something new, I feel like I progress in my art. A lot of people say, well, how is this album different? It's hard for me to say. I'm sure whenever you hear it, you'll know how it's different. We know what we want to hear, but we're trying to like think up fun ways of like getting there. First question is, how did you get the name Linkin Park? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up your ass. Taking eight months off and coming in to do a record, I'm like, am I going to be as good as I was? Can I do what I want to do in my head? Because I'm so hard on myself, I really push my throat to its ultimate level. And when I push it there and I keep doing it, it ends up getting used to it. And then I can push it a little bit harder and get a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Chester has this incredible weird thing when he sings really aggressive. He has like two or three different voices inside his voice. You can hear two or three different notes, and it's the strangest thing in the world. You come in here when we're doing vocals, and they got candles lit, and it's all moody and vibey and cool, and they're just doing their silly vocalist stuff. writing stuff about just real life, uh, real life emotion, just stuff that happens to people every day. The lyrics and stuff, some things that, that me and Mike talk about, you know, really shouldn't be talked about with other people. But when you write a song, you don't necessarily like, want to come out and give it all away, but you want the right perspective. Getting out all that stuff and just kind of making it like silly therapeutic time, it makes for good music, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna write a tell-all book too, and I'm 60. <laughs> Looking inside the mind of Don Gilmore. Ooh, come inside. Come inside the mind. The thing I like about Don is he's funny and he's really hard. It's a labor of love. He knows the gear, he knows how to get the sound, but the song is what is important. What did you think about today, Don? I thought it was uh, pretty magical. <laughs> Almost as magical as this guitar finish. <laughs> Going into this second record, there was a certain level of trust there. Yeah, he can make a really bad song sound really good. But is that something that he wants to do? No. <laughs> Tell me about today, Chester. How was today? Don can just come in and be like, I know you guys, you know that I mean the best when I say that this is crap. Today, kids, we rewrote a song for the, for the 97th time. <laughs> See that guy? <laughs> yeah, it's his fault. <laughs> I don't want it to just be this, this candy-coated one-listen song. I want it to be that with tons of depth so that it becomes a classic song. You know what's funny is like, um... Eh, anyways, who cares? <laughs> hey, it's Mike. One song is a song that I really have been trying to write. I've wanted to write it for quite a while, uh, probably like five years or six years. It's a song called Breaking the Habit. Don was listening to the keyboard strings that I had written, and he said, you know, what would sound really great is if we could do those strings live.
all the stuff that I had written, a guy named David Campbell took all that and wrote it out from cello on the low end to, to the violins and violas. He played it once through just exactly the way I'd written it, and then David told us that he had written a couple of variations on it. We mixed them all together and actually overlaid them so the 10 people now sound like 40 people. While we were doing one of the takes, we were listening to it and it all sounded good to me, but apparently Brad thought there was something really wrong with one of the players. Something's really, something's really weird. Something sounds really off. I think it's you, seriously, are you not, are you not in tune with the rest of the group? I'm fine. This is, this is bullshit. This sounds like crap. What's your problem? No, get it seriously. He's, you're out of here. You're fired. Yeah. Man. I don't know if you're out here. Don't ever come back. Play. This recording What's session. What's going on? What do you want? Dude, it sounds. The chill is not even in tune. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It seems to never come back. <laughs> Catch on fire, the first place I'm running is Joe Hahn. 